the angle between a line L and the plane pi. So try to illustrate our example 2 into a diagram. So for B, we have a plane pi is pi equal to r dot i plus j minus k equal to 4 and the line L which is r equal to 2, 3, negative 1 plus T, 1, negative 1, negative 2. Okay, now we need to find the angle between the two, between a line and a plane pi. We need to find the angle here, which is A. But for the line L, we have vector V, which is parallel to the line. And for the plane pi, we have a vector which is normal to the plane. So if we find the angle, it is supposed to be the angle between, it is angle here. So B is actually equal to art cos N dot B divided by magnitude N magnitude V. So fit First of all, we need to find what is magnitude n, what is magnitude v. So the vector v is i minus j minus 2k. So the magnitude for vector v is equal to 1 squared plus negative 1 square plus negative 2 square, which is equal to six and vector n is i plus j minus k so this is vector n so this is your vector n so this is your vector n so this is your vector b so the magnitude for vector n equal to third one squared plus one squared plus negative 1 square which is equal to 3 and the dot product for vector n and vector b is equal to 1 negative 1 negative 2 dot with 1 1 negative 1 so it is equal to 1 minus 1 plus 2 which is equal to 2. So B is equal to at cos N dot B, which is 2 over 6 times 3. So the answer is equal to 61.87. So but remember, this is the angle for B. So therefore, the angle for A between line and plane is equal to 90 minus 61.87, which is equal to 28.13. So this is the angle between a line and a plane. Proceed with example 3. So param find parametric equation for line L passes through point A two four negative one and B five zero seven. First of all We need to find a parametric equation for the line passes through two points. So assuming this is point A, which is 2, 4, 
negative 1 and point P which is 507. So equation of line is vector equation is R equal to A plus T B. So for the point here we can use point A or point B. So it is equal to let's say let A is equal to point A with 2, 4, negative 1 plus T. So we don't have a vector B. So vector B is actually parallel to the line. So it is actually equal to vector A, B. So find a vector A, B. So vector B. B is equal to vector AB, which is equal to point B, 507 minus with 2, 4, negative 1. So the vector is 3, negative 4, 8. And then substitute into our formula, we have 3, negative 4, 8. So the question asks for parametric equation. So parametric equation is x equal to 2 plus 3t, y equal to 4 minus 4t, and z is equal to negative 1 plus 8t. So this is parametric equation. Proceed to example B, example 3B, where does the line intersect the XY plane? So, for this example, try to illustrate our diagram. Try to illustrate our question into a diagram. So, this is x, y, and z. This is our uh, x axis, y axis, and z axis. So the plane x, y is here. So this is plane x, y. Then, where does the line intersect x, y plane? Assuming that this is the line, so this is the line L. So this is the point we need to find with line equation before we have in terms of a parametric equation, which is x is equal to 2 plus 3t, y equal to 4 minus 4t, and z is equal to negative 1 plus 8t. This parametric line is actually represent our point of intersection. For let's say we let P is our point of intersection, so the point P is 2 plus 3t, 4 minus 4t, and negative 1 plus 8t. But we need to find what is actually our t. Our t can be defined when. So here, this is our x, y plane. So it means that we have a, we have a point x. Eh? For point P here, we have a point x, we have a point y, but the point z is 0 because the point P is on x, y plane. It is on x, y plane. So the z here is 0. Therefore, we can have T, the Z is, this is our Z, okay, so negative 1 plus 8T equal to 0, therefore T equal to 1 over 8. So what is point P? So therefore, point P is, point P is,
So this is a, this is our a point before with our z is zero. So what is our x? X is actually two plus three t. So t is equal to one over eight. So we have two plus three times one over eight, which is equal to nineteen over eight, and y is equal to four minus forty. So four minus four times one over eight. So the answer is seven over two, and the z is equal to zero. Therefore, the point P is 19 over 8, 7 over 2, 0. So, this is the intersection between a line and the plane XY.